All right. Well, we're out here. We're out here on Lake Glenville today. That's a good one right there. Good one. Beautiful, healthy bass. Nice. Look at the selfie. Get the selfie done. We'll go about 16, 17 inches. 16, 17 inches right there. Let's let it go. <clears throat> water temperature's like 50. I don't know. My graph of water temperature's messing up. It's like 52. There she goes. Yeah. Yeah, we're out here. It's the uh, Sunday after Thanksgiving. I'm very thankful. I don't know if you know from my social media, my daughter was in a terrible accident, a high-speed rollover. Coming back from Wilmington, North Carolina to her job. Um, she's a graphic designer. And uh, she swerved and missed a deer. And I always told her over the years, you know, if a deer runs into your path, you know, hit it. And if you see one deer, there's going to be more than one. I told her the dad things about deer, but just a natural reaction. She yanked the wheel. She overcorrected. Uh, she went uh, backwards, upside down into a ditch at 70 miles an hour. Uh, this stretch of road had big um, riprap culverts, and she missed the she missed those. She missed the culvert, and uh, ended up in a soft, muddy ditch. And thank God, it saved her life. The side airbags went off. She never had a frontal impact. She literally two-stepped out of that thing without a scratch. So I'm very thankful. Chevy Equinox builds a good little car for the price. Um, I recommend that to any dad for their daughter. But uh, just very thankful today, and uh, hopefully we catch some big ones. Hopefully we get some big smallmouth out here. That's really why I come to Lake Glenville. Right here, not a giant giant, but a good one. Seventeen and a half. Smally. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not too strong. Yep. Seventeen and a half. Let me get a quick picture of this guy. As fast as I can. Just going along here trying to mark them. Saw that one. <coughs> yeah, in the winter time, if you can, if you can uh, cruise along these flats, be in an area, you'll kind of find where they're at. You know, sometimes they'll be in 25 feet of water. Sometimes they'll be in 33 feet of water. So, as the temperature gets cooler. <clears throat> on this lake especially I may be able to, I may be able to follow them around then when the water temperature gets to about 45 I don't know I don't know where they go now I don't, I don't know if they go super deep or but they totally move out of this area so that's it got the first small mouth got a nice large mouth so let's see if we can mark another one and uh, I'll get back with you. Triggers not a, a big response one. of these fish that uh, otherwise may not be triggered. So it's, it's... Oh my God. I just got to forgive you. Oh my God. I just got a giant. Oh my God. I just got a giant. Holy smokes. Oh my god. What an absolute giant. Oh my god, what an absolute giant. Oh my god. I gotta calm down. Look at this fish. Oh my gosh, huge. Absolutely huge. 
<laughs> oh, I had him pinned. Oh my god. <laughs> Freaking biggest bass I've ever caught out here. Oh my god. Salute giant. Get a selfie with this one. Oh. God, what a giant. What an absolute giant. I have to weigh this, everything. Oh, this thing is an absolute tank of a bass. All right, don't give me a hard time. Don't give me a hard time. This is a healthy. I'm scared. I'm scared. Let me try to get a perfect picture. 21 inches. Actually, that's good. 20 and 3 quarters. <clears throat> 10 quarters, heavy. Mm. What a giant bass. All right, I'm putting him in the net. Put him in the net, and let me run up the bank here. I bet you, boy, I thought this thing was 10 pounds. For sure. It's probably more like eight. All right, let's see. Oof. He bit earlier and he broke me off. Same spot. It's in the exact same spot. All right, let's get the scale. guesses very gingerly Let me see. okay I want to push ever so gingerly reset unit I gotta put my glasses on I like to have this fish out of the water this long right, unit. okay here we go pounds reset Four point nine six. God, that looks bigger than that. So much bigger than that. It is four point nine six. Let's find that space. All right. All right, let's let him go out of the water long enough. Well, you saw that one. Wow. Twenty and three quarter inches. Cold. The water temperature is like it was like 43, 43.6 or 7 today. Um, I fished, all, fished you know, in the afternoon here. I put in like around one, and I fished down there. And there's this one grassy point, and it's deep off of that grassy point. It's like six feet deep, and then there's there's a bunch of wood down there. And when I first went through there, I threw my yum dinger up in there, and uh, pulling it off there is like, dong, good hit set the hook freaking line broke and i'm pretty sure i don't know the break got caught caught on the timber or whatever or just broke off so then so then i just fished around down there by the dam didn't catch a thing uh 
come back so i'll try that spot threw it in the exact same spot a little farther out though pulled it in there ding set the hook it was a big one i can't believe it was like four nine something i can't believe it didn't weigh five pounds but it was a big one it's a good one for here yeah nice fish uh kind of looked familiar i think i might have caught him before had a kind of a distinct tail but uh that was it. A couple days of fishing. Yesterday was Glenville. Today was the Little Tennessee River. And please like and subscribe and share this around, especially if you're in the Western North Carolina area. To your friends, a lot of people vacation out here in the Franklin, North Carolina area and the surrounding areas uh, in the summertime. And uh, if you're ever out in this area, hit me up. Hit me up on Facebook. You can find me on Facebook. Just look Mark Wilkins up. Franklin, North Carolina. Any kind of fishing, you find me. And uh, I love to take people out, show them some stuff. I'm not, I'm not one of those guys that are like I'm protective of some spots, but I'm I'm pretty. I like to share it, share, you know, what I've learned around here for the past 20 years as far as as far as places to fish. So, so thank you again, and I'll be checking back with you.